What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about Ubisoft and Vivendi's hostile takeover of the company. For those that do know or maybe don't know, Vivendi has been working towards taking over and usurping power from Ubisoft to kind of make it their own thing and do what they want to do with it. Up until now, Ubisoft has been kind of a privately owned entity owned by the Guillemot family and Another company owned by Gilmont was recently taken over, completely taken over by Vivendi, and that is Gameloft, the mobile game company that was primarily known for extravagant ripoffs of very popular video games. So that company has already been usurped and taken over by Vivendi, and Vivendi now has their eyes and their targets on Ubisoft. And it's a really tough situation for the Gilmont family. They've kind of banded together and gotten their community involved and gotten people, you know, kind of to stand side by side with them to resist this hostile takeover. And I wanted to get you guys up to date on what's going on with the situation. I'll drop a link in the description. Ubisoft CEO, quote, a Vivendi takeover threatens the construction and pillars of Ubisoft, end quote. Yes, companies merging is normally not a problem, but in our industry, which is changing a lot of the time, it's actually risky. Ubisoft CEO Yves Gilmont paints the potential consolidation of Vivendi and Ubisoft in a negative light, quote, Yes, companies merging is normally not a problem, but in our industry, which is changing a lot of the time, it's actually risky, end quote. A French media conglomerate, Vivendi, gears up for a hostile takeover of Ubisoft. Ubisoft founder and chief Yves Guillemot is making a show of painting such a deal as bad business for Ubisoft's game development talent. At E3 earlier this year, he closed out Ubisoft's press briefing with a thinly veiled protest against the threat of a Vivendi takeover, suggesting his company's success are the direct result of Ubisoft developers being, quote, free to create, end quote, and free to take risks, end quote. Now, in a recent interview with GameSpot, Gilmont has dropped the veil entirely and spoken out directly against Vivendi. Quote, the takeover threatens the construction and pillars of Ubisoft. The way we manage it is totally different from the way those guys manage companies. The biggest concern would be to see what took 30 years to create, not continue, end quote. Gilmont noted during the press event that if Vivendi succeeds, he does not expect to continue serving as CEO of Ubisoft. His brother Michael Gilmont suffered a similar fate earlier this year when he stepped down as CEO of Gameloft after Vivendi completed its hostile takeover of the company, which, like Ubisoft, was founded by the Gilmonts. Quote, creativity, agility, and risk-taking is intrinsic to our industry. If you are independent, you know the level you can't go to. But if you're part of a conglomerate that doesn't understand what your industry is, how fast it's moving, or the decisions you have to make at speed, they can limit your possibilities, end quote, said Gilmont. Seeing that somebody could come and not understand the industry, even without bad intentions, could destroy that capability and make decisions and take risks. That creation that is happening year after year, end quote. This conflict has been brewing for some time. Vivendi upped the stakes in both Ubisoft and Gameloft last year in a bid to gain control of them. It's likely to come to a boil later this month when Vivendi may attempt to make changes to Ubisoft's board of directors during its annual shareholders meeting. This is really, really a tough deal. I believe that the shareholders meeting is around the 28th of this month, and I'm sure that the Gilmonts are shaking in their boots. It's really, really a tough situation when you allow investors to come in and take shares of your company, and then things like this happen. Uh, the, the sad part is, this family has created these companies independently. They knew how to start it, they knew how to make it work, and they knew how to build and create something magical. Unfortunately for them, they wanted to become more popular and more powerful by allowing individuals and companies to buy shares of Ubisoft and Gameloft. And unfortunately, some people, some companies don't have your best interests at heart. And Vivendi is going to take over Ubisoft, I'm pretty sure at this point. They've got a plan to replace four of the board of directors. And once that happens, then I'm sure that board of directors is going to give Vivendi a lot more leeway and power on the way that Ubisoft is going to run. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. How do you feel about a hostile takeover? What company would you like to see have a hostile takeover? What company would you hate to see have a hostile takeover? Let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Everybody's high